perfect to sit right down here and beam this jerk bait right off that point and see if we have a bass in on that drop off. going on guys welcome to another video i'm excited to bring you guys this one today because you guys love bank fishing all right i figured that out because in the last bank fishing lakes video that i filmed you guys absolutely tore it up so if you guys haven't checked that one out be sure to go check it out it is a good one it supplies a lot of value inside of that video no one's doing these on youtube so i decided to start making these for you guys that do not have boats and fish ponds a lot and fish a lot of banks at lakes we are going to be talking about how to find new areas on lakes how to find new spots how to find productive spots in your area or on the lakes in general depending on the time of year so pretty much i'm going to be going on my phone today going on google maps going on google earth pinpointing new areas and stuff for you guys to look out for on your lakes that are by your house and areas that are going to be holding fish year round so let's go ahead and walk down to this dock we're going to whip out my phone look onto here and see what places we can find on google earth oh yeah but one thing if you guys haven't checked out the clothing website um, or in my new website in general at least go check it out and give me some feedback on it but we got all the american flag tees the ktb corner drip hoodies you guys need to go check them out they're killer and i'd really appreciate it if you guys were supporting the kick in the bass tv nation but let's go ahead and get down to this dock all right so in the last episode i talked about marinas and how marinas are very important to fish especially when you're bank fishing it just gives you an opportunity to one if you need to to get on a dock kind of like i am now gives you a ton of water to cover with a lot of cover in the water so marinas are going to have rock they're going to have trees they're going to have docks obviously fish that hide up under these little areas and this can be really productive to catching a lot of fish and marinas are known to hold fish year round i don't care what lake you go to wherever you go marinas will have fish that is literally a that they will have fish it's just depending on finding the right marina hitting it obviously the right time of day there's a lot of conditions and different you know So what I'm looking for and like the different times of day. I don't even know where I was going with that <laughs> to, That you need to come in. There's all the conditions are gonna have to line up depending you, you know There might be a morning bite. They might start biting at night. It might be in the day You know, maybe they won't bite at all when it's bluebird skies out You're just gonna have to adjust it and figure out but there is fish in marinas 24 7 year-round I don't care what anyone says. They're just all right. Just live in marinas that being said come on these docks You know fish all up on the side of these things it can be really great to throw around all these little slips it can be really good always be respectful to people's boats i always say that but these can be really high areas with a lot of fish in them very important so let's look on my phone with that being said and let's see if we can find a few more areas that i would kind of look at when bank fishing and something that you really need to be paying attention to obviously it is the winter time right now lake lanier as i talked about in the last video is a spotted bass fishery and those spotted bass get more affected by the cold and the warm weather than largemouth you know largemouth live up shallow i mean there's largemouth that go out deep obviously depending on the time of year but spots get more affected by it so but there will always be fish in this marina and there's a lot of largemouth here pretty much want to target marinas okay marinas have lay downs possibly around it they have rocks they have docks they have life in general all right that's probably one of my biggest areas i would go to another area if you can get to it bridges bridges are bri bridges and bridges and bridges bridges are so important because you have the big columns that come down and fish hang out on the edge <laughs> the plan had to go by so the bridges have the huge columns that go down in the water and a lot of fish stack up on that during especially right now if you find like a really good deep bridge you can always catch them on that one of my favorite baits to throw up on that is either a drop shot or a fish head spin very great um those are really good baits you could just pitch right up onto the bridges we're going to be going to one here soon and i will be fishing at it so i'll show you so right now i'm kind of on google maps so as you guys can tell you know we're, we're at this old marina right here and you you can pretty much see on google maps let me zoom in see all these rocks along the bank see that's all cover that bass are going to be sitting up on i mean look at all this good water right here 
that is amazing then you got these docks that fish are going to be hiding up on especially on a sunny day fish should get up all in this stuff very good you got these little coves back here too i don't know if you can get to this by the bank but look i mean here i'll show you see this road right here this road you and then look let's see looks like there's a little parking lot right there and then you can walk right down right here and you can fish over here and then if i zoom in obviously there's a lot of rock you got this little point that comes off fish love to sit on points right here as well there's another point i mean these little areas that are very important to fish i was looking to see if i found any lay downs but lake lanier there's not too many lay downs i'm not gonna lie and um, the water is high so all this is in the water and there are some trees that are laid over on the bank because i can see it from where i'm actually standing but just finding these little places that you can go so say i wanted to come fish here you know i pull up to the marina I can fish all these docks, I can fish all this rock, and then maybe I wanted to switch it up and come fish off a point. So maybe I'll walk over here, and you see this little point that comes off? I can probably stand on this dock right here and cast right off onto this point. So you're just kind of switching your locations and what you're really targeting. So maybe you didn't get a bite there. Now you want to go try a cove. So then you get in your car, you drive down over here, you walk all the way over to this bank, and then you fish these little coves. There's a lay down right there. Then you're like, oh, there's probably a bass on this tree. So let me go target this area. And then you have this little cove right here and maybe it drops off. Obviously it looks like it drops off right here. So then you got a little ditch. Then you got these little little uh, creek streams coming in right here. I mean, there's a bunch of different little targets that you can look for on Google Maps. Here's another one right here. This one looks really good. I mean, depending on the time of year, like say they're spawning, say a spawning season, you know the fish are going to make some old babies and they're gonna be obviously up shallow. This cove is perfect for this fish to go bed up on on the bank right here. And this is stuff that you can drive to with your car and go out and fish. And that's very important. That's why marinas are so great. It's because they have a, usually have a big variety. Especially this marina here and a lot of marinas on the Billy Canary. They just have so much cover and so much variety that you can fish. They have points. They have these little ditches that you can fish. A lot of rock and cover. And it can be overall really good. So let's go ahead and head to this spot right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually a bridge right here it's not too far from here and i also see a good bit of people fish from here but there's some rock as you guys can tell see all that rock then you got some docks and then obviously the pilings from the from the bridge that go down in the water which i think is going to be key right now and it's a huge ditch that actually rolls right down this cove which should have a lot of bait stacked up in it with a lot of fish this time of year so what we're going to do is we're going to get in my car drive over there and just kind of get a visual on how it looks and uh, we'll make a few casts here as well and see if we can catch a bass you guys are absolutely crazy if you don't think i want to make a few casts i have to by the way quick little tip that i didn't do before putting this in my car say you have your bait like this say you say you have like four rods you're putting in your car and you just you load your bait up on your reel what you do is you take the line to your bait and you just start wrapping it around your rod like this so now as you guys can tell your line's not free so it's not going to sit there and tangle up over over every single rod i thought i'd add that in if you guys didn't know that that's that's something that can help you out a lot and keep some frustration out of the day might as well give it a try eh? kind of see if we can get a bite i mean heck for all i know the fish could be chomping today and I could have just left like a 20 pound bag sitting on this bank. I'm just throwing this little mega bass jerk bait. Just to kind of see, you know, if I can catch one while we're here before we leave and head to another location. The problem is the angle's so bad it's hard to get a hook in the fish. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! I cannot believe that. <laughs> Screw this angle, people. I mean, screw this angle. Where am I going? The fact that we had a bite right off the bat, it's kind of, kind of really a good thing. You got this wind slightly pushing up along this bank. You got all this rock that I'm throwing parallel with. That's what I'm saying by marinas right here. He bit me so far out that I, there was really nothing I could have done. So the bridge that we found on Google Maps, I just pulled up here. Parked right here on the side of the road. I see people park here all the time to go fishing here. And we're gonna walk down and kind of pinpoint you know, the spots that are there, the rock, the docks, the trees, and stuff I'd really look for to fish when I come to areas like this. So let's go ahead and walk down and see what we got. This is how you know people have already been here. It's a little trail that walks down. Then you got the lake right there, perfect bank fishing area. 
So just got to the bottom down here. I can already tell you just by walking down here and kind of looking around that I'd much rather be on this side of the bank over here. So if you guys look down right here in the water, as you can tell, the water clarity is pretty visible. This is Lake Lanier, there's a lot of visibility. I don't know if you guys can tell by out there, but that's all land, very, very shallow. This would be different if this was a deeper lake, but knowing that this is Lake Lanier, I wanna find the deepest water possible and the most cover as I can. So that bank over there is gonna be a lot more deeper. That would be a great bank to fish. As you guys can tell by looking right here, there's pylons from the bridges. Fish stack up on the edges of those. That is a great way to catch bass, especially this time of year. They, what they do is they tuck their body up close to those concrete pilings that come right down off that bridge and it can be an amazing way to catch them people you could throw this jerk bait past it, it'd be really good fish head spins really good a drop shot's really good a jig a worm any bait that you can really get right next to that thing and work it really slow or move right past it to try to get a reaction bite is amazing if you guys don't know during the winter this time of year you know concrete boat ramps rocks it heats up it holds a lot more heat so that is a really good spot, especially with these cold water temps for, for fish to tuck up against. Then right down the pike, right down this little, when I mean, you have this little thing coming back into the cove, is going to be perfect for a little ditch. And when those ditches come down, what happens is each side of the bank hits a point like this, and then there's a little flat bottom that points down. It's called a ditch. There's gonna be a bunch of bait that pushes in the middle of that ditch this time of year. And that's where those big, hefty bass are gonna be laying. So it would be a great idea for me to cast that jerk bait all the way out there and see if I can get it as far as possible. A jig, a worm, a fish head, it'd be really great as well to work on the bottom very slow and see if I can really catch a fish that's laying down in there. But let's walk down here and see what else we get. Look at this. That's how I know people are fishing out here. Got us an old fishing reel just laying down. That is an old one, isn't it? Tons of fishing lures just laying down here. So looking down this bank and kind of looking out to see really what I have, you know, I got these clay banks that go down on each side. With the clay, there's also some rock that is really good. When you have those transition banks where there's a lot of clay and it transitions into whether it's a sand bank, rock bank, or it's got like pea gravel, those are amazing banks when they have those transitions. Fish love that and they hang around those areas. And when I look over here as well towards this point, right there pretty much that bank is going to be a lot steeper when you see a bank that drops off completely rather than fades out that means that is a steep steep bank and that is what you guys are going to want to be looking for this time of year you're trying to find that deep water and those steep drop offs that's where those fish hang so that side over there would be really productive for me to go fish but this video isn't about me fishing and catching fish today it's about me teaching you new areas and really breaking them down and figuring out why I would come to this area. So you got the bridge, you got the rock, you got the clay banks, you got a little bit of wind pushing down here, you got some clear water. You also have a dock over there if you really want to get off on that side and walk down that bank. But I am going to make a few casts of this jerk bait while I'm here and see if I can get a few fish because I know a lot of bait hangs out in these ditches and around these bridges this time of year. What I always talk about Making good long casts parallel to the bank. That is the biggest thing to know when, when being a bank fisherman and finding new areas and really trying to cover a lot of water quick and effective is pretty much casting parallel to the bank and you know bringing that bait in the strike zone the whole time. But with, with um, a lot of those fish being you know in the ditches, it's good to cast out. That's good as well, but don't ever pass up an opportunity to cast parallel to a bank. I got my phone out right now looking at Google Maps. This is currently where I'm sitting, kind of where I was talking about. I'm right here next to this bridge, as you guys can tell. If I zoom out, I'm trying to really figure out, you know, what other spots can I fish over here? Of course I see the bridge, that's good. Of course I see all these good looking banks, that's cool. Obviously a ditch that goes down the middle has a lot of bait. But one thing I notice and fish that, that fish love is points. And this point is coming off right over here on the other side. So I think we should go try that. We just have a little simple trail that leads right back over here. So we just made it over to this point that just comes right off. The lake is a little bit higher than when it was when I looked on Google Maps. So that's when you gotta kinda play in your brain how you would envision it. So you can compare to your phone and what you're actually seeing in real life. 
right here we got this back little cove it's going to be a lot harder to fish because we're hanging off of this little cliff i don't know how much you guys can tell but you can always walk down there and we could fish that but for where that point was hanging off it comes right off over here and i can easily walk down here and cast right off of it so that's the thing about google maps and what makes it even better is google earth which if you guys want to see a video on google earth and how i find new fishing spots and how i really break them down and decide what i'm going to throw there then you guys let me know i can make a video like that but that point just comes right off of here. So it's just perfect to sit right down here and beam this jerk bait right off that point and see if we have a bass in on that drop off. As you guys can tell, we came over to this point. We're sitting right here, and I've been casting off right off this point, all right? Right here's the tip of the point. I've been casting out here. If you notice, there's three points here. There's one where I'm standing, one right here, one right here. And what it does is, like I said, each side of the bank necks down, and it creates that ditch in the middle. So it would be very smart. Instead of just throwing right off this point and throwing around the point, it would be smart for me to beam a cast over to this point. So pretty much you're working right over that ditch, and any active fish that are suspending eating bait, they will come up and eat your jerk bait or jig if you want to drop it down in there, which would be even better. Um, anything you really want to throw in there right down that ditch. Very important and uh, can be a really productive way this winter to catch fish if you guys are doing that. All right, everybody. I think that is going to conclude this video. I apologize for not catching any fish, but then again, I don't apologize because that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is pretty much to show you guys how you can find new areas to fish while you're bank fishing lakes. And that's exactly what we did today. We took a look at Google Maps. We looked around some marinas. We looked around some bridges. We came to the locations. We pinpointed the cover that the fish would be on. We pinpointed the structure on the bottom um, where the fish would lay during the time of the year. We pointed all that out and that is super important to know when bass fishing, especially when you're trying to find new spots. So if you guys got some value out of this video, be sure to pepper that like button up. If you guys have not subscribed yet, I'm Noah, host of the Kickin' Their Bass TV show. Be sure to click that subscribe button, notification bell right next to it. Be sure to leave a comment below on what tip video you would like to see next because I'm posting these every single week. So thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up.